When you find out that a loved one has been abused at a nursing home, it's a terrible experience because you trust this facility to take care of your loved one. You don't know how to do it. You don't have the experience. You don't have the training to do it. So you have to trust these facilities. And when they don't do it, and they usually don't do it just because it's a money issue. They're trying to make more money or save more money. It's a betrayal and it's betrayal of you as a loved one. And in my experience, people feel guilty about it, even though it's not their fault. The simplest way to define elder abuse is neglect. Uh, telltale signs of elder abuse are chapped lips, which is a sign of dehydration. A sunken in face or weight loss is evidence of malnutrition. One of the most common things that we see are bed sores because bed sores develop because an individual is not being rotated or uh, repositioned or an individual isn't being helped to the bathroom. Frequently this occurs from an individual just being left in their own feces for an extended period of time. What we commonly find is these skilled nursing facilities or long-term acute care hospitals save money by short staffing the facilities. And so it's really important you find somebody who has experience in suing nursing homes, in exposing nursing homes, and knows this law to really turn the screws on these facilities and make them understand why it's a bad idea to not provide appropriate care. The California Department of Public Health keeps records on all skilled nursing facilities. And it's a good place to start is to go on the internet, go to the California Department of Public Health, and look the facilities up to see how many prior deficiencies, citations, a facility has gotten from the California Department of Public Health. Another good way is to go to the facility, talk to people living at the facility, talk to family members. And I think something really important is actually go to the facility at night. What you'll see is that a lot of facilities will staff a certain way during the day when most people are there, but they'll staff a different way at night when there are fewer visitors and fewer chance uh, lesser chance that that the facility is exposed for not providing appropriate care. So I think it's important to do background and research on the facility, to go to the facility, talk to people, and do your own little bit of investigation. It's very important in any potential elder abuse situation that the family takes copious notes. What we see is that a lot of times facilities will doctor records, change records based on something bad happening to someone at the facility. It's really important that the family documents what's going on with the patient at frequent intervals and that the family is tracking complaints they made to people. Are complaints being made and then is something being done by the facility to respond to those complaints? Because the facility, I can guarantee you later, is going to say if there was a problem, which there it wasn't, nobody told us about it. That's why frequently we involve the California Department of Public Health or Social Services to do an unannounced visit, grab a copy of that, that file, and make sure that those records aren't doctored. Bed sores are one of the most common and vicious indications of nursing home abuse. Bed sores usually develop because an individual who can't move on their own or has problems moving on their own is left alone for long periods of time. Falls at nursing homes should not happen. Falls at nursing homes typically happen because there aren't enough staff to help people at the home get to the bathroom. An individual is left with this terrible choice. Do they go to the bathroom in their bed and then they're left to suffer in their own feces or do they try to help themselves get to the bathroom when they really shouldn't be getting up to go to the bathroom and left with this terrible decision. The pride of most people gets them up out of bed, even if it's dangerous. And what we frequently see is that in trying to do this, the person will fall and suffer injuries to their body, to their head, and then they're left on the ground in pain. And this is frequently evidence of elder abuse. If you suspect that your loved one has been injured in a nursing home, call Case Barnett Law at 949-861-2990 or visit us at casebarnettlaw.com.